Hey guys, it's Scrap and Katie, and today's video I am going to actually be participating in a challenge that my team's doing um, regarding naked layouts. And those are all the layouts that we make. Um, I don't know if you do what I do, but you know, because I teach so many workshops and classes, um, a lot of times I'll make layouts and then um, I make them without the photos on there. So then the class can actually see um, what the layout looks like without my photos. And then that way I do have some customers, some local customers that um, if they see that I use like a sports layout, and let's say that they don't have kids or grandkids in sports, then their mind just kind of shuts off to that possibility of it being anything other than a sports layout. So I don't put photos on my workshop layouts. So those are considered naked layouts. So my team is um, having a challenge um, started by my upline where once a month we actually are going to put photos and journaling on some of those naked layouts. And I'm going to show you on this one how easy that is. And so I encourage you, if you have any of those naked layouts laying around or maybe layouts that you need to be finishing, I encourage you to this year try to get those out. Try to go through your photos, whether those are already printed. Definitely, if those are not printed and they're still on your phone or your computer, um, you guys know that I'm an advocate of getting those photos printed and that way they're not lost. So I will turn the camera around and then show you what uh, layouts I'll be working with today. So here are the layouts that I've pulled. Um, these are actually, there's three two-page layouts. It was a special um, that we had, um, I guess, right at the beginning of COVID. And so this was one of those things where I was kind of trying out how my girls would like to create layouts virtually since we couldn't meet. So they're not really embellished, um, which is going to be good um, because you can see here these layouts have got some florals, um, polka dots, really not themed. But the lay or the photos that I'm going to be using are actually from a beach trip that our family usually takes during vacation, I mean during Thanksgiving. And so I'm kind of glad that they're not fully embellished and that's going to allow me to kind of make these look like um, they were intended for my photos, which is always a good thing. You don't want just a pretty layout with just photos slapped down. So I believe I'm going to actually use um, this two page layout for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, the title. I just love that title. Love these people. And then the colors. And you'll see here in just a second when I pull out my photos, why the colors are important. Okay. So here is the photo that I'm going to be using on this layout. And, um, it's a four by six. This is a five by seven. I thought about blowing it up. And I may go do that right quick just to see. Okay, so I printed that on 5 by 7 and sure enough, I really like it a little bit better. There's so much white space up here on the layout. And other than I am going to be adding another title, um, but pretty much that, that white space is going to stay. So this larger photo takes away some of the white mat that was showing. And I did trim it down to six and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And that way I can see that tiny white mat um, behind it. I just prefer that. So I've got that. And then all I did was I went through all of my wood and acrylic letters. I decided to use wood, even though... I've got some black right there. I just kind of wanted to bring in, since we are at the beach, I wanted to bring in that natural feel. And so I've spelt out Galveston. And I'm going to overlap the photo. Again, just making sure that it feels like the photo was made for the layouts. And that helps when you're using a naked layout and adding your photos later. And the next thing I'm going to do is these are little rubber clay confetti and I love that they match this. So I'm actually going to add some of those here and there to kind of match with the, um, you can see these little pieces right here and then of course those stamped hearts. 
So I love my micro dots for these. And I love that these have some of the same blue that was actually in the photo. Um, if you'll notice, a lot of my scrapbooking, um, the paper doesn't match the photo exactly, but it's very complementary to the photo. So that's kind of what happened with this. You can see, um, you know, that we're, we're looking at some um, mint, and, you know, it's not really pink. You know, she's got almost maroon on, but we've got pink, and then we've got peach. But by bringing in that photo that has complementary colors, and then I have these little embellishments that actually match the photo, it's just one more layer of making it look like the layout was built for these photos instead of me putting them on years later. Okay, now on to that second layout. You can see here where I've already added three of the photos. I left this one alone simply to show you how, um, or remind you, if you've watched my videos before, how I leave those. I either use 3D foam tape behind them so they're already kind of up, or I don't apply adhesive to that portion that's over the photo well and so that allows me to just slip this photo directly under that flower component. I have already added my journaling lines and then I want to bring these little shapes over here to this layout as well and then I've also pulled a couple of wooden hearts to bring in that wooden um, title that I did on the other page. You mainly, oops, you mainly just want to make sure that the elements that you put on one page, they're on the other, and it just makes it really cohesive, the two layouts together. And that's also how I do, a lot of you ask, um, do I do any two-page scrapbooking? Well, here is a two-page scrapbook layout. Um, but you ask that because you just see me um, doing a whole lot of one-page layout process videos here. It's just, it's simply easier but um, a couple of a couple of those actually turn into two page layouts and even though I didn't make them at the same time by adding the same elements to both layouts it makes them just really kind of cohesive so I'm going to add a couple of wood uh, wood hearts again just to make it look like the two layouts are one and the same and again, I'm going to do the two up there and then this little single heart down here. The thought process behind this was, you know, this one is an open heart. I love them. You can back them with paper. You can color them, anything like that. But my process was to have the open one with one of the closed ones. And so I chose... Actually, I think I'm going to do the solid. So I chose the smaller closed one with this open. And then I'm going to use the smaller one that will kind of go over the photo. Again, I just kind of do that just to make it look like the photos were put on before the layout was completed. It's probably not going to stick. So I'll hold that down just a little bit more. If it doesn't stick, I will use my glue dots. And we are pretty much done. Again, a naked layout. And just by adding photos to it, these layouts are done and the memory is documented. All I need to do is add my journaling. So again, I uh, encourage you to challenge yourself to do the same if you have a whole lot of layouts without photos on them. Go ahead and get those photos printed and then get them on those naked layouts. Um, and you will be inspired to do it more and more. And then, um, you know, we don't always have to create from scratch. Um, the main, the, the, the most important part is just getting our, our memories and our photos um, printed and documented and off our phones and our computers. 
So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked what you saw, leave a message or leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you'll not miss another crafty video.